Hi, I'm Madeline. Welcome to my scenario. I studied the work of Jason Mitchham, who was my inspiration for this whole project because I went to a museum in North Carolina over winter break and I saw his video, Head Full of Doubt, Road Full of Promise, that he made for the Abbott Brothers. His video really inspired me because I enjoyed painting and making stop motion animation, so I decided that would be a cool idea for my scenario project. It was my... It was very fun to do, and I thought it was really cool, and just like watching the video change and stuff. And taking and taking the photos of this painting right here took around six hours, but we split it between two days because it was three hours each day. My favorite part was making the cityscape in the background of it, and the hardest part was um, making the iceberg because I had to like change the shading so much and the shape too much it was difficult for me because I couldn't figure out what an iceberg looked like even though I've seen pictures but I couldn't figure out how to change a real life picture into like a painting form. He emailed me back around like um like February 12th somewhere like February or January and because we emailed him and I asked if he would give me some tips and stuff and he gave me a huge list of it and I'd like to say thank you for sending me that list and he said that a drawing animation was much easier to make than a painting animation because drawing you can easily erase things, you don't have to wait for things to dry but with painting you have to wait for them to dry or take a blow dryer to it and black blow dry it too, that works too and he said a frame rate about 7 to 10 frames per second the more frames you do the smoother it will be but the longer it will take I did 10 frames just so that it be smooth but my ending animation had over like 200 photos and stuff and it's only going to be like 20 seconds. He said that my lighting should be consistent but I used a lot of the natural lighting in this room. I'm sitting where I filmed it and the natural lighting did change between day one and day two which caused the painting to look a little like gray on one day and then light on the other day. And I also studied the work of William Kettridge which is also who he recommended that I do. And he did. He was known for drawing animations that he did, and his animations were pretty cool. And I was like, painting would be cooler. I'm not that skilled of a drawing person, so it was good for that. I did do reference photos and sketches, and I painted a bunch of things, and they're sitting on the table over there, but they're somewhere. And this was the final product that's sitting next to me. And my favorite part was doing the was doing the buildings in the background of it and my favorite part also was melting the iceberg. My original idea was doing global warming but I decided to like not do that and change it to this but it turned out like my finished painting was about like global warming and climate change. So that's it and I'm going to show you the video, the animation now. watching my presentation and my basis of global warming in the presentation. And let's just say, make this like a clear thought, just a question to think about. 
Many leaders aren't taking this seriously, thinking like, oh, it's just a hoax, oh, it's all fake. And because they aren't taking it pe seriously, the people and the citizens aren't taking it seriously, which is causing people to just think, oh, it's just a hoax, oh, it's all fake. But leaders lead people thought, people's thoughts, but could you ever lead theirs?